Sean's guitar style is lyrically melodic and soulful, taking inspiration from 1960s era soul music and blending it with the blues vernacular like that of B.B. King and Freddie King. His thick, smooth, humbucker tone is one of Neil's trademarks, and his song-driven soloing will pop up daily on any classic rock radio station. Thanks. Workshop time again with Neil Schoen of Journey. Let's start out with this first phrase that's a sweet but heavy sounding major pentatonic phrase that's got licks that range three octaves. Form one, form five, into form four. And here's the roots. All right, let's check it out. Looking at melodic major pentatonic stuff, form one here. And we're gonna come back to form five for this quick one. Very strong vibratos and digging in hard. Shift back here to form five major, back and forth between form four and form five. Phrase two, very similar in spirit and logistics, connecting forms four and five again, and we're going to feature an added C note from minor perhaps. That C is going to be a big deal in this one. Starting off with some riffing in form four. Sliding up to form five, we're playing this melody, and right there we got a C, added C that we're bending up and playing off of, resolving down to B. We're working these notes out slowly here, down the strings, up to tempo. It's going to be like this. Study the picking and find what works for you the best. When the vamp shifts to E minor, this chord, we're going to go to some licks in the style of separate ways. Using E minor, 
E natural minor in this position. Let's check it out. Just melodic with an arpeggio downward outline of the E minor chord. Phrase four, another E minor phrase. This time with E minor pentatonic form one and notes from the Dorian scale right here. And these looks may possibly remind you of Wheel in the Sky. All right. So we got some bluesy E minor pentatonic licks here. Take your time, but dig in. Nice big vibratos. Let's do that one one more time. Up to tempo. And here we got some Dorian movement with an emphasis on the 11th fret, F sharp. Carrying on with phrase five, some more of that heavy melodic major pentatonic playing. Let's switch to treble pickup for some more bite. And Neil Schoen is great at this melodic sort of pop melody playing. And this is right in the style of any way you want it. Working with notes from major pentatonic form one right here, open position, and some stuff in major form three up here. Let's break it down. Very melodic, like you're singing it. Very deliberate picking on the third string. Pull off real hard. Bolting up to major form three for these bends up to B. And they added D up above it. Just some nice melodic licks and warm vibratos. The licks in phrase six go directly to the chord changes, G. D here, and let's see how they break down. This is over the G, this is over the D with left sharp bass, and this is over E minor, and then, you know, da 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 right, let's check it out slowly, check out the pattern, work through it, and here it is up to tempo. This one again over E minor combines E minor pentatonic form, form one, with a strain of natural minor that takes us all the way up to 17 and back like this. Get that one under your fingers. Lick starts here. Hold that bend from D to E nice and strong. Sneak that G on top. And now I'm going to start climbing up the natural minor scale that we covered with this melody. And it's all over straight E minor. Phrase 8 back to the lighter side of major. We have major pentatonic form 1 here. Extending up. Inspired by licks in this style of a live shown performance. And we're going to go into this pattern of four notes that are going to be alternate picked. And then we're going to extend and add these other two notes. And it's not going to be pull-offs like this. It's all picked like that. Ending up with that bend and release. Okay, last phrase, phrase nine, over the G major part of the vamp. Starting on four and five, major pentatonic right here. We got some simple melodic ideas. And it's going to feature the fourth, the C, bent up to here from the third, from B, 12th fret, creating that suspension, and tension, and release from the fourth to the third. And we got some more nice melodic licks coming down the pentatonic major scale form five into form four right here and back up again back and back up just a sort of casual shift between four and five back and forth <laughs>